This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest stories in entertainment and showbiz. My name is Efe Oluwa Oshunkeye, and to analyze, dissect, and elaborate on all the trending entertainment stories with me today is Ewa Oritu, and I like to call her a vibe. Uh, What's good, yeah. mama? <laughs> you look good. Yeah, well, thanks. You do I'm, too. I like what was your weekend? How was, was your weekend? It was very restful. What did you do? Mm, I was at work yesterday, but... Saturday, I think I slept all through, just did like mm, few house things. Tell. You're looking all you know, rested. So I came with all the glue this morning. That's what's up. My weekend was amazing <laughs> as well. Mm, parties? But, no, no, no parties. I had, um, yeah, house party. Mm. Personal, private easy, house easy party. Fair. No, private house party. That is, I didn't go out, but, but I had like, like mm, yeah, something in right. my crib. Yeah, nothing serious. Just a few friends and you over. you didn't invite me. Um, it was more of a family kind of reunion. You know oh, friends oh, you call. Oh, family oh, oh, oh. you're that type mm. you you're not um how do i put it now you are family family not friends not you friends, wounds, family. Family, you are family, i'm blood family. you are know blood. you feel me blood is thicker than water right Those ones are water <laughs> you feel me i get you, you bro. feel me all mm. right so let's get straight to it the gist is felicity offman has been handed prison time over college admission scandal it would be recalled that offman worked with the scams confessed mastermind william singer to falsify a college entrance exam score for her oldest daughter sophia macy Singer arranged for Sophia to take a SAT test in a special location, an exam widely used for college admission in the U.S. Her result was a major improvement on her previous score. She paid the sum of 15,000 U.S. dollars to get this done. In a letter to Judge Tawani, Hoffman wrote, In my desperation to be a good mother, I talked myself into believing that all I was doing was giving my daughter a fair shot. Mm -hmm. I see the irony in that statement now because what I have done is the opposite of fair. I have broken the law, deceived the education community, betrayed my daughter, and failed my family. For our crimes, Felicity has now been sentenced to 14 days in prison for involvement in the college admission scam. She also has to do 250 hours of community service and pay a $30,000 US. Mm -hmm. A $30,000 fine, yes. So, we okay. discussed this last week, mm -hmm. and we spoke about how they were trying to say um, a sentence should be reduced, she should do community mm, service, pay $20,000 and be on a one-year probation. probation. And I was saying that would be very unfair Fair, because yeah. um, the fact that you're a celebrity doesn't give you the leverage to break the law mm. and say, oh, we'll give this person house arrest, we'll give them probation. Mm. If there's a particular jail time for this. Now, the prosecutors were asking for one month jail time, mm. but I think it was reduced to... 14, 14 days. days, which is two weeks, and mm. then she, was she will still be doing the 250 hours community service. And the fine has now gone up from 20,000 to 30,000. So okay, she's so paying it's like extra 10,000 extra, 10, for the two weeks, two weeks off. Mm. Yeah. So I think it's fair. I think justice has really been served. Yeah, like and I said last week, the fact that she came out very remorseful, I mean, if I was the judge too, I would give her a reduced sentence. Uh, um, a statement that you just even read mm -hmm. shows that she's really sorry about it. She was just trying to be a good mother, which is no justification yes. yeah. to being unfair to others. I mean, people stay away well, people, to read for people the exams. People go the extra mile to do things for, for their, their kids. Yeah. You get sometimes it may be right, sometimes it may, it may be, be wrong. wrong. So, which is why I like what you said that it doesn't justify what she did, but it's just that um, motherly love mm. for your kid. And she, I also read that when a daughter found out about this, she was like. Like, why didn't you believe I could do it? Do you mm, yeah, because really... right now, we, this thing has cost her a lot of things. Even um, a relationship with her daughter and her husband, because yeah. everybody's like... She also apologized to them publicly yeah. too, and mm. I think she's really remorseful. And um, I think she'll come out stronger in this Yeah, I, I, I know that she'll come out stronger. Yeah. I think because... she's that type of person. Mm -hmm. But 14 days in prison for somebody that lives in Beverly Hills, wow. He'll be like... <laughs> he'll be and like 100 what, years for her. the prosecutors <laughs> were saying, that if we give her house arrest, or she's on probation and all that. That how is that punishment when you have a mansion in Beverly right. Hills and all of that's no punishment. I mean, I can stay in my house for one one oh, month if on. I have everything Two available. Yes. <laughs> everything is available, man. <laughs> you know. So, in fact, I can even be shooting my movies for my house. You, you know, everybody, the camera, move everything. Camera. I have Let's nice apartments. Yeah. Let's, Let's just get it, it on. Yeah. I still need to make money. <laughs> yeah. All right, so it's time for a quick break. But when we return, we'll be telling you how Ace comedian Bovi saved the life. Mm -hmm. Don't move. 
Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Apala music is from mature minded people. That got DM sometimes from <laughs> Malawi, like. Sleeping, <"Whoa." laughs> <laughs> 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 All right, so Comedian Bovi has taken to his Instagram page to share with his fans a screenshot of a message he received from a fan who was suicidal. But after watching a few of Bovi's comedy performances on the uh, popular streaming platform, YouTube, changed her mind and decided not to kill herself. The comedian further reviewed the guess this type of message and urges Nigerians that people shouldn't think that suicidal individuals are bluffing and also people who threaten to take their lives also need help. Mm. Hmm. This is deep because Very I read deep. what the person, what the lady said. Mm. She said she had sniper by her bedside, bed. mm. but she saw a, a a link and she clicked on it, mm. and then it brought out a lot of um Bobby's comedy. I think it was trying to performance strobe old school something. Yeah, yeah. I can't like, remember yeah. what exactly, but um, she said after she went through it, you know, she I think she became cheerful, Cheer mm. and then she decided to change her mind, and she said she was actually online to say goodbye yeah, to yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. She wasn't there because she, she wanted, wanted to, to come and see what was. She mm. came there to actually say goodbye and she was about to take her life. And then, I can't remember who said that comedy, okay, I think it was Ali Baba when he came on mm. the show, that um, comedy is also a way of um, te um, therapy yeah. for people who are suffering from depression and that sometimes it would. And I think this is um, evidence to that, that mm. actually making people laugh and making people happy. And you know, sometimes when you joke about certain things that someone is going through, they will now say that, ah, no be my own bad yeah, past you now. Know. You get that kind of, because mm. you're joking about it. So they will now be like, no be my own bad past. You know, they start having a rethink that, okay, for this person to make a joke out of this, mm. then maybe someone else has gone through it. He said that story, he decided to create mm. a joke. You know, that person laughed. And I thought Sniper has been banned, so this one shocked me. Ah, she, probably <laughs> has, she probably has it in her cupboard says. But then, um, when I saw this post, I just, what came to my mind was that, now I think with this, prob probably the celebrities will know that they have more work, um, work, more work to do on, on their table. Because for someone like um, Bovi, it's mm -hmm. just a comedian. We have um, musicians. We mm -hmm. have other people that mm -hmm. through drama or whatever thing you do that mm -hmm. makes you popular. I mean, we have Instagram comedian, at large, entertainment yeah. at large. Whatever you do, know that it's probably touching somebody's heart somewhere. You're probably saving somebody's life with everything you're doing. So mm -hmm. when celebrities really come online to say that, um, um, they are living, they are, they are just a celebrity and people, they are just like normal human beings. Yeah, you're like normal human beings, but I mean, you, you're already there. So people look up to you. If you already have people that are looking up to you, you need to act right and know what you're doing. Jigger. Yeah. Someone like Bovi, I'm sure, like you said, he gets this um, frequently. Messages, and yeah. do, do you understand? I mean, it's not just him. So I, I'm so if I probably listen to David's um, music and I'm depressed, it, I you would get you, out of yeah. it or whiskey. Yeah, yeah, like, blow my, blow you get? My you just feel like blow my mind. You know, you know, start thinking that do I really want to blow my mind? Nah, I think I should just leave and <laughs> no, let them let them blow, blow my, my mind. mind. You know, you know you, right? You start fantasizing. People, I can imagine celebrities need to mind. do better. Know that people are looking up to you. Know yeah. that you can save a life. There's this video that was trending over the weekend about this actress Aya Desson. Yeah, she bought a wheelchair mm. for um, yeah, I a saw beggar. That too, and, and I saw um, people comment and then they were like, um, everything is for the gram, must you record it? I'm like, in this age that we have, you don't know what you you're doing that is your inspiring people. Yes. It's not even about your colleague. I mean, there are people out there that, that are not rich. celebrities, but yeah. they are really rich. And they can really help these people that I mean, if, if somebody is if somebody's a fan, if you have money and you're probably I had this on your fan and you've seen that she has done this, it could motivate you and you'll be like, mm, I think I should. 
In fact, you do might this. even choose to reward her to do more stuff. You know. Or even start a platform to help people in need like that. Because I'm sure she must have been passing that man mm, for a while. And, and maybe the guy is a very cheerful person that even with his disability, whenever he sees her, he'll be like, is actually from the video. You yeah, will see that. Yeah, he was yeah, like, trying to like, what's going on? He wasn't sure if the yeah. chair was for him. He was explaining how they would arrange it and they are like, it's yours. But I'm also going to go with... Um, a Bible verse that says, mm. um, I don't know if this, I'm going to say it correctly, but I, I know it says <laughs> something <preacher>. like, <laughs> I know it, it's, it's something like, um, when the left hand gives, um, the right hand shouldn't even know about it. So yeah. I think that's where people are coming from, trying to attack her that, oh, everything is for the gram. But I don't, I, I didn't see it that way. I saw it as a very kind gesture as mm. well, especially with the soundtrack playing in playing the background. Playing on that, you know? it wasn't and it was like, a Sunday, yeah. you know, like it was just the right move. It was very mood. emotional when I saw it, yeah. and I'm like, we need more people like this in the society um she's doing her own with the witcher you can do your own with your voice mm -hmm. your character mm -hmm. whatever it is you're doing as long you can, as you have a platform uh, jigger you can make people happy you can save a life you can i mean it might not even be somebody suffering from depression it could be somebody suffering from any other kind of um disease or whatever it is you and know then i like the fact that bovi also touched on the um Parts where people tend to trivialize. I think we're even mm, talking about we're talking it last about, week. Yeah. And like everybody's depressed these days, they mm. are misusing the word. The fact that somebody has threatened to take their own life and they did not do it doesn't mean they do not need help. Because that's a mental health situation for mm. you to even be suicidal in the first place. Mm. Do you understand? It's not normal for anyone to just wake up and be like, oh, I want to kill myself. What could you possibly be going through? I watched um, Dave Chappelle's Sticks and Stones for a while. Mm. And he said um, there was this guy that was in law school. He was part of his joke. He said there was this guy that was in law school. He met a very beautiful girl. Mm. He got married. He was like, dude, don't get married. Save your marriage for later. And then he got divorced while he was in law school. He was a black man. And oh. then he got divorced while he was in law school. Then he said the next time he went to Washington, D.C., to a store, mm. he saw the same guy right there, and he was a store manager looking like a referee. <laughs> that was how he put it. Like the guy was looking like a referee, mm -hmm. and um, he said that th when he, then they went out for drinks, mm -hmm. and then the guy explained to him that, look, um, I'm staying with my mama. I've been staying with my mama for 10 years. This is someone that was in law school that got married. He said, this guy divorced. had nothing, but the woman took half of the nothing. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah, right. So he had to go back to ground zero. He said that, but what shocked him the most that this guy never thought about taking his life for once. <laughs> That he even tried to suggest to you that, don't you think you'll be better off if you kill yourself? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> Bro! But at the end of the day, you just find out that some people are stronger than other people. Mm. Some people, no matter what they go through, they'll never think about taking their lives. And some people are so weak that you don't even, the slightest thing, you know, somebody might just be driving and splash them water, and then the next they day they'll be like, it. ah, because I'm not get so car. Ah, <laughs> you know, I must keep myself. Yeah, you're, you're actually very right, because, I mean, with that situation um, of people killing themselves because of ordinary um, failing eggs I don't want to use ordinary I don't want to use the word ordinary I mean people have failed exam and they think that that's the end of the world and at that point I actually realized that we undo things differently okay and so. we should all just act right and do better for everybody around us I mean you don't know your colleague that you just come to work and you talk to the person every day and, and you don't know what they're going you're probably through, yeah. the only reason why that person and is you might even say something that will even make them go out of line but you I know. think um, we need to uh, um, wrap up on that story and move on to the next okay. um, singer and songwriter Sam Smith who identifies as non-binary, shared the decision of the non-binary and transgender community on Twitter, writing, Today is a good day, so here goes. I have decided I am changing my pronouns to they and them. After a lifetime of being at war with my gender, I have decided to embrace myself for who I am, inside and out. In subsequent tweets, the 27-year-old said, they are so excited and privileged to be surrounded by people who support their decisions. I have been very nervous about announcing this because I care too much about what people think, but it. The singer <laughs> continued, I understand that there will be many mistakes, misgendering, but all I ask is you please, please try. I hope you can see me like I see myself now. Thank you. Smith also addressed being non-binary, explaining that the community at, is at no stage yet to eloquently speak at length about what it means. But they can't wait for the day that I am. 
So for now, I just want to be visible and open, he wrote. He said, but he can't wait for the day that he's able to talk about it. The Stay With Me, the Stay With Me singer also said that they would try their best to explain to those who have questions before concluding the thread by sharing the names of the activists and leaders in the non-binary and transgender community who have helped Smith and given them so much clarity and understanding. Smith's announcement, which has already been liked more than 9,000 times, has been met with an outpouring of support, love, and respect for you, Sam, one person wrote. Another said, we love you and we're so proud. In June, the singer told British GQ that until recently, they felt somewhere in the middle, but weren't sure how to explain it. Now, I think mm. um, this is a very safe space for people mm. who really can't tell who they okay. are. Some people, you see them and they have this feminine tendency and you kind of believe that, oh, this person must be gay. Mm. But some of them are not even gay. Some of mm. them do not even identify with a particular gender. Mm. So for people who are wondering, what is non-binary? Now, a non-binary person is someone that is just in the middle. Sometimes this person feels his masculinity mm. and sometimes he's in his feminine... Not exclusively, the, yeah. exclusively yeah, female, female and not exclusively male. I mm. would call Lady Gaga someone like that. Mm. Mm, yeah, because sometimes she tries to dress like a man. She has a masculine side. I can't remember the award last year that she went for that she wore the um, tuxedo, mm, the very mm, large mm. tuxedo dressing like a man. And she said she wanted to um, let go of her past. So I think Lady Gaga has some form of mask. Well, that's my opinion. Okay. She has not come out to say that <laughs> I'm non-binary. But these are people that really do not identify with any gender. They mm. don't, they, they're not male, they're not female. Unlike cisgenders, like we are cisgenders, yeah. like you're a woman, you identify mm -hmm. as a woman. I'm a man, I identify as, as a man. man. Mm. But they, they switch from time to time. In between, in, in they're, between. Just, they're yeah. not sure what they are sometimes, exactly. Yeah, sometimes they'll dress all manly and you'd be like and it doesn't, ah, it doesn't have anything to do with your sexual orientation they could yeah. be attracted to male they could be attracted, attracted to, to female. female i think they are enjoying the best of both worlds if you ask me but you know? i would like to be non-binary <laughs> anyway i know i'm cisgender first i'm sweet i mean i'm just really enjoying this old drama he has been bringing to the table like style from him dressing like female mm -hmm. and then he's like he wants to be like this wearing wigs music videos and i'm like oh the I'm last the world he wore high heels yeah like, i'm like wow proper eyes <laughs> we make up and yeah. his attitude and all. And he said he has never been so comfortable coming out of the closet mm. in front of a lot of people. I think that was the first time he actually mm. felt to come. And I think this is the, that's off the back of what is going on now. That okay, there's now a community for L them. The they, and I like the fact that they cannot eloquently speak on it, but they can't wait for when they, they can. They would be able and, to and speak they'll, about they'll keep, it. And they'll keep fighting for it. I mean, for me personally, I think the I don't battle have... has been won. It's just for it's just encouraging more you people think, that come out. Of the I don't think their battle has been won because I mean, even in America, UK, wh wherever it is, they have, have yeah, they still people. have homophobia. Like I mean, a lot of people are really still um, homophobic people and I don't think the battle they've won the battle yet but I'm sure they are getting I think there. it's even in this part of the world that is worse because people hmm. can't stand imagine you can't that, even come out imagine that I'm saying sometimes I wear skirts you know sometimes <laughs> Bobriski for uh, as an example now I mean every, yeah, anytime, like, yeah Bobriski we can call Bobriski non-binary should I tell you why why when he's going to the police station he's to dress like right? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but I think Bobriski is not just that <clears throat> educated to understand all those things. But I think Bobriski is actually non-binary because sometimes it tries to have this um, female character, yeah. uh, female character. And sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you get. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I think we need to go on a quick break, and when we return, we'll be dissecting one more story. Don't move. It's the hottest entertainment stories coming up right here, right now. This is Tea Time. Thank you for the tea. So yourself and Emma are always the best rapper. I'm the best rapper. It might be maybe second after Magneto. Oh, oh, nice. 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 Teddy's going to fry my brains if you saw this. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your account number, I'll make a transfer. You get the money? Yeah. <laughs> I started getting scared when Yoruba boys started saying, you know, we worry people. One thing is certain, if you are good, my dear, mm -hmm. you are good. My kind of person, and I'm not ready to cry look, over look, any man. You know you look like Jerul, no? Uh, a lot of people say that. Yeah, just the looks, that's all. Mm -hmm. Not the account. Just just wow. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so Nollywood actress Lizzie Anjorin, 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 Lizzie Anjorin. has gone toe to toe with Tony Abraham in a social media clash. Lizzie accused Tony of opening fake Instagram accounts to attack her colleagues. I'm going to let Ewa give us a breakdown of this one because I know <laughs> this is your space. Please. No, but it was take like a really dramatic weekend, <laughs> yeah. you know, because Tony just gave birth, and I don't think that all this thing should even be popping up in her face, but well, it is. Nollywood actress don't care, they just don't want to see you win mm. because i really don't know why lizzie is coming out to do this and say this for me i don't believe lizzie's story i mean why are we sure that you didn't even open the account yourself and mm. throw yourself come and just trying to blame someone else you know because you, <clears throat> I, I i don't know why behind a fake account you just think that it's this particular person and you're calling the person out okay this is what happened she came out and posted on her instagram story that um toya imako has been creating fake accounts to troll her on her own um, comment in our own comment section mm. and that um, she's she has she, proof she has proof and that Tony is just trying to defend herself if she needs to defend herself she will come and she didn't even end at that she said by their comments she shall know them <laughs> she, <laughs> she, like, she didn't even my only, she didn't even stop at that and she started raining curses on her and I'm like Calm down, sis. You people are just, um, they're just, okay, that means whatsoever you guys act in the movie that they think about um, the Yoruba mm. Nollywood industry is actually, is actually what you guys are. I mean, you guys come out and threaten yourself, call each other names. Call, oh. We've seen um, from the um, English industry side yeah. of it. Yeah, I mean, these people have drama, but it's never this dirty Serious and all. Yeah. Uh, Tonya has actually come out, and I like the way she responded. She responded as a very matured woman. I mean, a mother. Do you get like? Please tell me what she said. What she she, she say? was like, she's going to first. You hear from my lawyer. If you think you can come out, that all those things has to stop. And, and I think it has to stop because every single time they are coming for her. Why? And because she stays winning. Or and why? People are like, I think um, another uh, point Lizzie stated was that. Um, when you were having your issues with uh, um, Led 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 Led. Nobody, <laughs> nobody came out. This is your fans that are now coming out to troll oh, other people. I, I, I read that and I'm like, you. okay, is that supposed to make her feel sad? She's moved on. Egbegbe is her past. I mean, it was Egbegbe yeah, that was caught. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just gonna dance I'm on you. Telling Please go on with but, your story. Um, I mean, as her ex, mm -hmm. it wasn't her that was involved in the old drama. Well, probably ev almost everybody has this particular ex they don't want to ever be attributed to. Like, don't call him my ex. Mm. That's the end, and it's over. And I think that's why she changed her name to Abraham. That's yeah, that's well. why she changed her name to Abraham. So I mean, people, um, Lizzie needs to calm down. I don't, I don't know what she, what she's doing. I don't know what she is. I don't, I, I really don't care about her. But Tony. Wow. Yeah, I don't care about I think her. you're a big fan of Tony, right? Um, I'm not, not like I'm a big fan, but I just, I think I like I think her. She's yeah, she's very and hardworking. She's and well. and uh, from the, um, from the Yoruba. And a great Yoruba, actress. She is a great actress. And from the Yoruba Nollywood um, industry, I think she's like one of, she's basically the one, one top the in biggest. the charts because almost all her movies get into the cinema. And you know, she rose with like other top-notch people in the industry. But you people are just here forming a um, loser gang, basically. You people are just losing and you're forming a clique to fight this woman. Yeah, hmm, some battles are meant for the Lord, though. Hmm. I think okay. the, the Lord Deep. is fighting Toyin's... <laughs> the, <Lord, laughs> the Lord is fighting Toyin's battle. And like, I really want her to take a legal action on this one because it's getting too much. Every now and then, one cockroach and rat is just all over the place uh -uh. calling Toyin out, calling Toyin out. Lizzie's coming <laughs> for you. Lizians, Lizzie Titans. Don't worry, I'm, re I'm Please red. come out. Ah, it's Tony Titan, so. Oh, and eh, now I'm giving her Lizzie Titan. You know, she Lizians. does not have. She doesn't she... have. Who is Lizzie? Well, 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 Ewa did not disappoint me. I told you this on that <laughs> stage. You see how she broke it down. I couldn't have done it better. You know. <laughs> All right, so that's exactly where we wrap up on this episode. You can join the conversation by using the hashtag Tea Time on all our social media platforms or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Also, you can watch us in London on Ben TV. I definitely can't end the show without giving a special shout out to my co-anchor, the Queen of Vibes, Ewa Oritu, and the production crew, I'm Ife Oluwa Oshunkere, saying thanks for watching. And until we come your way later in the day, keep it 100.